suppose Nico. Hey Nico, it's Jono. Hey mate, how are you? Uh, okay, how are you guys? Yeah, alright, we just uh, unfortunately hit something, so uh, we broke our starboard tag of water. <laughs> Så er, det jo, så er det bare at læne sig tilbage og sidde cruise control, så er det jo TVD. The direction? Ja. Yeah. I don't think so. Mm. Yeah, From outside it might look quite straightforward for us to do a record. You know, we have a fast boat, we have an uh, island and, and we just gotta sail as fast as we can and the boat will do the rest. But that's far away from, from the actual truth and, that, and how we're setting up. It's a lot of preparation. It's a lot of boat maintenance, service, setting it up for this different kind of sailing, but also for the for the team, we have a lot of preparation to do in terms of the strategy. What way do we go around the island? How do we manage and deal with the winds? And if you just make one mistake, for example, going the wrong way around the island, north or south, record the Thames over, and we wasted a lot of time, a lot of work, and we put ourselves in the worst position for the program going forward. You know, with a waste of energy on the boat and service on the boat. All right, do we do everything else so we're more or less ready? What about bags? We can leave them in the hotel. We're looking at the forecast here to understand if, uh, which way we're going around Funen. So uh, it's very critical in the southern part of uh, Funen. Um, 10 degrees of uh, difference would, um, would get us through and, uh, and that's very critical. So um, we need to, uh, to choose a forecast we, uh, we really uh, believe in here and then, uh, and then go for it. Yeah, so we tried to find out what, uh, what way to go around Fyn. We always thought we were going to go clockwise around Fyn, but now it turns out that it's not ideal. We're going to be a lot on the winds. Uh, and basically the forecast is not ideal as we hoped with, with shifting and breeze, but it is what it is. We've got to get the best out of it. So I think we might actually change and go anti-clockwise. And I think we hopefully can survive and, and still do a record that way. You just said you were stressed before the camera turned on. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you are nervous, aren't you? Nah, I'm not nervous. It's just uh, not nervous. Not nervous. Not nervous at all. It's fine. Record attempts is 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 very hard on foiling cameras. You know, if you if you sail for 10 hours on a keel boat, it's it's not too bad. You can. You can enjoy yourself, you can relax, but you, you obviously still focus. But but on foiling cameras, you cannot make a mistake for those eight to ten hours, depending how fast we're going. It's it's you know pressure is on. Everyone has to perform 100% the whole time. And if someone makes a mistake, you know the record turns off, but also risk of damaging the boat or injuring the crew. So it's it's quite tiring and it's quite a lot of pressure on while we while we're trying to you know race 100% for those 10 hours. We're on the way out of the harbor, just got the, the boat fully rigged and the sails up, ready to uh, try and break the record of the Fyn uh, Wand. Adaptability is everything in, in sailing. Everything changes, so you need to take the right decision in the moment. I, I think in sailing, there's, you can prepare for a lot of things and, and that grows with your experience, how you, how you can handle different scenarios, but you learn that there's situations evolve and, and things are different to what you prepared for and, and what you think was going to happen. And uh, you just need to be ready for that moment and, and also have the experience and, and, and be prepared for it. And the more you sail, the more experience you have, I think the more you're ready for taking decisions when things go another way than you expected. So we decided to start in Nyborg and that means that Middelfart is, is halfway and the point where we will 
start sailing fast. And uh, if we don't get to middle fart in time, then it's going to be all over. Then we are not making the record. I'm from a small town, middle fart, where everywhere you go in the, in the town or city, you can see the water. When I grew up, I was always on boats or on the beach, and uh, I really like being on the water. Um, I, I, I really belong there, and, uh, and I think uh, there's a freedom on the water sailing around an area you know well and, and see it change from day to day. I think when I was a kid, I was dreaming about sailing and competing, but when I was trying to be more realistic, I, I'm not sure that I thought it was ever going to happen for me to be a part of, of the biggest races in the, in the world. I'm very fortunate to have had the experience in competing in America's Cup, the match racing tour, the extreme sailing series and, uh, and also with the Volvo Ocean Race uh, teams. So what, I've, what have I learned in 20 years in, in sailing? Well, I think that you learn that a good, teams, uh, a good team and, and where you perform well, you feel more safe and, and you, you, you let go of some of the doubt you, you might have that you're not going to do well. And if you really know that the guy next to you is making you better, and you, then you put everything you have in and, and, and your decisions get better, your timing and your ideas. And, and I think that's the moments that, that, I, that I think of uh, and, and makes me really proud. We're waiting for some updates. Obviously, we hope everyone's okay and the boat's in one piece. So it's Nicker. Hey, Nico. It's Jono. Hey, mate. How are you? Uh, okay, how are you guys? Yeah, all right. We just uh, unfortunately hit something, so uh, we broke our starboard tagaboard. Okay, what's, uh, do you have a plan? Where are you going to go to? Uh, we're just getting the board out now and having a look, but yeah. I think we'll go to Kiel from here on, uh, board the record attempt, and then, uh, okay. yeah, then I'll, I'll have to be picked up somewhere so we can start making some logistics and planning. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out what city we can get me to and what we do with the boat. Okay. Yeah, so unfortunately we just, uh, we just hit something in the water. Um, not quite sure what, but uh, we have to uh, yeah, have a look at the foils and, and the boat and, and see how big the damage is, but uh, it means that we have to... Uh, have to stop our record attempt because we need to make sure that we keep the boat in one piece and, and, and look after it. So, yeah, very frustrating. It was going all right, but um, yeah, you can only do so much. We have to figure out what we, uh, what we hit and then we'll try to understand what we uh, can do from here so we can keep sailing uh, for the rest of the year with all our plans. Getting enough resolution for the resolution to get like in in here, but there's definitely yeah, 20, like, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 plus is out, out to sea. Yeah, so we were supposed to go out training yesterday in our GC and then I got a phone call from Ras and asked if they can borrow one of our, our boards. So, uh, and we had a spare one, so we just had to pick it up uh, and start driving down here. So we're doing a welcome race today here in Kiel. Um, it's, uh, it's been a little bit of a push getting the boat ready after the record attempt in Denmark yesterday. But the guys did a really, really good job working pretty much all night getting it. Then we brought up and running and it's now 8 o'clock and we're good to go. Start time at 9, so uh, even some spare time for coffee. Special guest today. And yeah, we have uh, Jens with us today. Um, you know, he's always been supporting us and, and, and helping us with all the problems we have. Even yesterday we had board problems, he was also there to fix it for us. So uh, he's coming on board today for the welcome race and, you know, he's a sailor, so he'll just be having another sailor and extra set of hands, which is very good and very cool. So we're, uh, we're excited for today. And, Hopefully we have more success today than yesterday. Everything we planned and everything we're doing this year means a lot to the team and we have to succeed with it. It's uh, a record is, is very important to us, like the rest of the stuff we're doing. We, we, we're 100% dedicated and if something's worth doing, it's, some, it's worth doing right. So if we don't succeed with it, it's going to be a blow to the team and, and a disappointment. Of course, we'll come back from it. We always do and we're very good at recovering from, from setbacks. but. That's not what we're aiming for. We really need to do well and we need to make sure this 
goes as planned, so we have another successful experience as a team. And every successful experience you can put in the back as a team just grows as a team and you become stronger and stronger every time. Every setback puts you back, takes a bit of confidence away, and then you have to rebuild again. So it's, it's a big difference if you just succeed or not in these, in these things we're doing. We definitely know sometimes when we push it too fast and, uh, and taking on something that we maybe weren't prepared enough for or, or capable enough for or something was thrown at us that we, uh, that we couldn't handle or maybe nobody can handle, but uh, we were in a situation where we, where we tried to handle something that is really, really difficult. And um, it's, it's, not, it, it's how you come back that is important. And uh, I think that's the drive that, that uh, I enjoy. And with the right guys, you don't feel you do a mistake. You, it, it's, it's, it's your own pressure that is the worst. It, it doesn't come from somebody else. It's, uh, it's, it's in your own head and, and, and how, you can, how you can handle it that is important. You've been around a lot of teams, top teams. You've run your own campaigns, you've been part of other ones. Does this team have what it takes to really surprise people? This team has what it takes to do a really good result, do a podium or even do even win the ZGP. I'm absolutely sure.